I am now a member of the board of the Reagan Presidential Foundation and have been since I left public office. But I want to take you back to 1990 when I was running for governor. And Ronald Reagan did me the enormous honor of becoming the honorary chairman of my campaign for governor. After I was elected, he said that he would come out to see me off on what would be my first post-election flight to Sacramento. And so he did very early in the morning. And as he and I were sitting there making small talk, he said to me, you know, Pete, he said, I was thinking last night, knowing that I was coming out here this morning to see you off, that you're going up to become governor just about the same age that I was when I went up. But he said, my God, what a difference. He said, you've been the mayor of the second largest city in the state. You've been a United States Senator. And he said, you've had all kinds of experience. He said, when I went up there, I had none. I'd never held office. And as he said that, I began to smile. And finally, when he said, I had no experience, none, I burst into laughter and he said, what's so funny? I said, Mr. President, with all respect, experience is fine if you're smart enough to learn from it. On the other hand, you, sir, went up there with something a hell of a lot more important. You went up having thought about what it was that you wanted to do with the office, about why you were running, and about the changes that you were going to make when you became the president. And you did make change because you had figured it out. You were a very, very good governor. You were a great president, truly a great president. And true to your expectation and your prediction, put the Soviet Union on the ash heap of history. That, sir, was a whole lot more important than having held office. He said, well, that's nice of you to say. 